Hello everyone, cat fam. How are you today? We are gonna be installing the new GoPro Hero 7 Black onto my Shoei X14 helmet. Are you excited? Well, I sure am excited because today's video is brought to you by duct tape. This is something that has never been done before. Obviously, you wanna get a really big piece. We need to, to keep the, the camera. Oh my God. Jesus, hold my Starbucks. The guy at Home Depot said this was gonna work. My cameraman has made me a screwdriver. Maybe one more piece of duct tape will fix it all. I don't wanna cover the... <laughs> it literally looks like I'm taking this to go duck hunting. We all know we need a microphone adapter. Plug that little bad boy in. Oh, here we go. So this is fully installed. You see here we have our, you know, our adapter. Nice and secured. The guy at Home Depot was so right. Look at this. Damn. Is it staying? Perfect! Hyper smooth. <laughs> everybody, it's Kat. Tonight we are going to be talking about my old GoPro Hero 4 setup versus my new GoPro Hero 7 setup. I'm gonna take you through uh, my likes and dislikes of each one, why I kept the GoPro Hero 4 for so long, and I'm really excited to show you how I ended up doing the new setup. We got uh, Alex behind the camera tonight being my cameraman, helping me out. He did end up making me a screwdriver. So good to me. Okay, so up until recently, this has been my setup. Uh, I do use a Shoei X14. I am going to be doing a review about helmets because I went from the RF 1200 to the X14 and I absolutely love this helmet. So the current setup is actually just a bunch of GoPro extensions and the GoPro itself with a mic adapter as well. I've always had an arm set up just because even on the RF 1200, there is a vent near the chin and it's just kind of a tricky setup to get the GoPro uh, to stay correctly. This setup is actually from a Motonocity video. I will leave the link in the description below so you can go check it out. Initially, it was for the RF 1200 and it actually ended up working out on the X14 as well. So like I said, I've always used this since the beginning and it's always been great to me. Uh, it actually doesn't weigh anything at all really. One thing I do love about my old setup is this mic adapter. I have some tape on it right now, but this mic adapter is really easy. You can buy these cases on Amazon. These are the skeleton cases for GoPro and basically leaves all of this open so you can put your mic adapter in. The reason why I've always loved this setup is because you don't need the mic adapter that you have to use for GoPro Hero 5 and up. This is why I've had it for so long. I normally just have like a piece of electrical tape. Electrical tape is like a godsend um, and normally just kind of like stick it on and it somehow stays and then got your little mic right here and you just plug it in. Boom. Uh, I will leave the link in the description below to everything that I have. There is a mic that I have inside of the helmet that works out really well, but I did dead cat it. So basically all you have to do to do that is get some faux fur and wrap it around the microphone so it kind of cancels out all the wind noise that you have from the helmet, you know, from riding a motorcycle. I think we're done with the old setup, kind of uh, giving you a glimpse of what I've had up until now, and uh, let's move on to the new setup. All right, so here is the new GoPro Hero 7 Black setup. Basically what I did is I took my arm that I've used with the GoPro Hero 4 and just attach the Hero 7 to it. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of with this is the mic adapter. It has to be this big bulky brick on my helmet. Uh, I think it's really inconvenient and the reason why I have stuck with the GoPro Hero 4 uh, up until now is because of this. I really wasn't looking forward to putting this on my helmet. You know, Alex got me this for Christmas and I feel like it will give better quality videos. So it's probably time to upgrade. All right, so like I mentioned before, same arm that I have used since the RF 1200, seriously, like this arm is, what, four years old now? The GoPro Hero 7 pretty much weighs the same as the four. I don't really notice like a weight difference. This though. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the mic adapter. What's most annoying about this mic adapter is that GoPro has actually figured out how to force you to buy this in order for a microphone to work with your GoPro. If you think that you can go on Amazon and just buy a type C to an auxiliary input, it will not work. You must have this piece and it is $50. 
uh, which I think is a huge ripoff, but whatever, that's GoPro for you. I mean, I normally ride with a GoPro, but I don't always have my microphone like attached just because I'm either just filming for safety reasons or, you know, just to capture the day of riding. What I did was I put the Velcro, I put the soft piece on the helmet and I put the like harder piece on the GoPro mic adapter and just basically positioned it to where it wasn't going to mess with this too much because you'll notice that this cord is really stiff. Like you, it, it moved like, look at this. It's just, it's insane. I heard to use double-sided tape, but I wouldn't use double-sided tape just because if you don't always want the mic adapter on your helmet, you're going to have to, oh, Thank you, cameraman. Uh, you're gonna have to rip it off your helmet each time and reinstall it, which is kind of annoying. I positioned it to where it wasn't going to pull on this too hard because as you notice, it's kind of wiggly and I feel like over time it could potentially ruin that type C input on your GoPro, which I feel like would be an expensive mistake. So let's not do that, All right? So we are gonna plug our microphone in, it's Velcro it on there a little better there we go so this is basically the setup that i have <laughs> god love how much vodka did you put in this he's over here laughing at me straight up nothing like filming a youtube video a little tipsy am i right so basically what alex and i did is we went riding next to each other he was rocking the gopro hero 4 and i was rocking the gopro hero 7 and we were trying to find differences so Let's review that footage right now and see what kind of differences we can find. comments which one you prefer. Do you prefer the footage from the GoPro Hero 4 or the GoPro Hero 7? Which one would be better, better for moto vlogging in your opinion? Uh, I think for sure the GoPro Hero 7 Black is going to be better quality overall for moto vlogging. The tricky thing about the Shoei X14 helmet is that it is a race helmet so it doesn't really have a lot of places to put the sticky. There's a lot of grooves up front where this is actually placed, I found a very flat spot, <laughs> one of the only flat spots to put it. The arm extender works out great and perfect. Uh, I love it. I can still open my chin vent if I have to and it doesn't block the wind really at all. So overall, just wanna say that this setup has lasted me for so long. I wanna say four years now uh, and I've had zero issues. I, I have had to get a new mic adapter just because the GoPro brand one tends to wear out the wire. So this one actually from the aftermarket uh, on Amazon, super cheap and works out great. Um, but like I said, this is like my solid setup. I love it. This is all I know, you know? And then now changing it, I feel very, um, what is it? Like when people, like old people, don't want to change, that's me. I'm the old person not wanting to change. The only thing that makes me skeptical about this setup is how busy the helmet is. This helmet is actually very aerodynamic and that is one of the main reasons why I love this helmet because it cuts through the wind. It's so awesome. I'll have to say it in another video. Now with all of this um, electronics on my helmet, I have the Senna 30K, I have the mic adapter, I have the GoPro, I have the arm. It's a lot on the helmet. This is definitely only like a moto vlogging type of setup. Normally if I'm just riding around through traffic or whatever, I use a GoPro Hero Session because it is so light. This is going to make my helmet feel very different. I will have to let you know. Obviously I'm not going riding tonight, uh, drinking a screwdriver and it's raining outside. I'm not going anywhere tonight, but I will definitely keep you guys updated in the future of what happens with this setup. I hope the quality, you know, is a little bit better than before. Even though the quality wasn't bad, it did get shaky at times. So hoping that this will fix it and treat me good for the next, hopefully, another four years. Here, until next year when the GoPro Hero 10 and a half comes out and then I have to get that and do another GoPro installation video. That is what's going on with the old setup versus the new setup. Next week, I am looking to do a gear review. I've been getting this request a lot. Um, so we will be going over 
what type of gear I wear, what proper gear you should be wearing. I will include Alex on the next gear review too because I want there to be a woman's perspective and a man's perspective and what we both wear and what we both feel comfortable wearing. Hopefully it can give you some guidance in uh, maybe what gear you should be wearing. That will be next week, but this week I really wanted to get this done because I had promised you guys for so long. I'm like, I'm gonna install the GoPro Hero 7. So we finally did it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanna thank you so, so much for watching, subscribing, and being a part of the cat fam. And I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>